Similar build we saw from Shushay, and again they're going in towards Peke. This time the wither should be enough, and Peke has got that intervention, has managed to use it, but is it enough? We see Cyanide coming back around there, Stan United was not enough. You can see Alex Ish, they could turn this into a double kill. On towards Cyanide, it's Ed Diamond that's tanking the damage, but instead they... The Ignite going down, now he's on towards Captain Jack, here comes Diamond, props around the side. They're gonna get on towards Captain Jack, it's gonna be first blood. Captain Jack goes down. The fact that... Look how many wards are actually in. down. They are. They are going to dive in on towards Flame here. He's going to pull, but Diamond, full HP, goes straight in there. Darian's going to join the party here as well. This is going to be a kill. I feel like they're letting this game slip away. They're trying to engage up top, though. Here we go. Diamond going to get the knock up there on towards Lost Boy. Will use the ultimate as well, but can they follow in with this one? There it goes. The ultimate out of Eshel, but can they catch in there? We've got Tarik and Rise coming around the side. Vayne actually flashes away. Use Cleanse in there as well. Flash from Flame. They're going to turn it around. It's bad for him. He's trying to put damage on the Kiwi Kid. Kiwi Kid's really getting hurt here, but here comes Crumbs! And Darien does not have much that he can do. He goes for the flash. Oh yeah, he's been knocked into the air. This is totally a dead, a dead bug. But here comes Diamond. Will he find something for himself? Kiwi Kid taking a lot of punishment. He's gonna go for the bite. Doesn't even need it. Swipes him in the back and actually tries to get the slowdown on the Crumbs. Red buff has been applied to flip backwards. Is he gonna go two for one in this one? Doesn't have but Crumbs coming in. There's the audacious charge. The slow Darien gets knocked up, but it's outside of tower range. Are they gonna continue to chase though? Is he gonna want to get any charge down on Crumbs? Audacious charge goes off again. One, two. Can he get the third talent strike? Will not a quick flip over the shoulder from Diamond Prox on Kiwi Kid. Now it looks like Gambit Gaming might turn this one around. It looks for a fortitude on Kaza gets the lead, misses the void spice so the auto attack's gonna seal the deal there. And now Crumbs looks to be in a bad but can he pick up a kill on Darien? Uh, and that's a pretty really brutal spot. Speaking of Diamond in the mid lane, he's gonna tower dive with an intervention from Kale. Cutie Pie, you don't look long for this world. Diamond here on Darien, and here we go. Well, Diamond across there as well. Crumbs charges in, hits level six as he charges in. There's the sweep coming out from him. Darien's gonna wind up going down to Kiwi Kid. He's overheating, flashes away, but he is gonna wind up being picked up there from Diamond Frost. Crumbs trying to fight through the heel from Diamond's Bottle Bear. It's not gonna be enough. Actually, it's gonna be a press. On to Kiwi Kid, puts his ult down, tries to run through to stay alive, but I don't think he can really run through this. And wow, Diamond is like... So and here we go, he's gonna go running in, they're gonna go for N Ray to lose force of flash, but he's gonna be flipped back over, not into range of the tower, but the ignite is down, and there is the kill, Darian. Damage right now, ooh, he's Peke getting caught. Wow, flash in there, now Diamond actually is gonna go in there, there's the ultimate coming down, Peke in so much trouble, they managed to get that one, Diamond still tanking up the turret, he's gonna die here, but they get two kills, can they get the third? Now it's Alex Hitch who's tanking oh! up the turret, finally it comes out, Cyanide is... I think Diamond might be looking for something in the mid lane, of course, Diamond does find Nifto, a lot of damage on him, pops the ult as well. Look at the burst damage there. Edward, secret so, away. No, he goes in on the offline, but he has been to Masi and ulted. And now it's a silence on a Herky bot. Jarvis not in a great place. Yeah, Shenel goes by as well. They're gonna try to go back on any flashes forward. Just forces Cassidy to run away. Actually, the cocoon stops Shen from showing up, so it's still a two on two. There's the onslaught of shadows, and that is the kill picked up. Alex Itch are going to channel. There's the onslaught. And he gets it. The steel oh. comes out for Diamond. Who's gonna be doing what now? At level six still. I should have shot Ulti into the mid lane. Bjergsen goes in on Alex Itch. Yeah, gonna go down there. Comes a horse around the side. Alex, can he survive this one? No, he can't. It's Godbro that picks up the kill. He's tanking the turret though, and Diamond is not finished with him just yet. Svensko coming in from that backside. Will they keep the pressure on? Go for Diamond. Bjergsen's gonna go in there. He's taking a lot of damage. He keeps getting caught, but in the end, it's gonna work out for him. We do have Bjergsen actually going for Alex here in the bottom lane. He doesn't have ultimate up just yet. Nope, but he's got Shen to come and join him, but here comes Diamond from the side. Oh, they're gonna go for Bjergsen. There's Rando in Zoman. Gonna be popped, but can they get in there and get the finisher? Alex is actually dangerously low from this one. Puts his stun guard onto Godbro as well, who may just fall from this. He's going in towards and into this top lane. They've baited him out completely. Yellow Star is burning down. Finished off by Genja, and the trap was set. And for you, he stayed far enough away that once the playful trickster landed, he was able to put down the gold card and lock Alex up. And then, of course, managed to chase down to the bottom. Well played by Soez to survive in that bottom lane, but he burned absolutely everything. Sinead may think about a flash deal, but he doesn't have flash, so it's not going to buff. Oh, and Diamond definitely not healthy at this point. Virtual going to come around the side. We'll drop the fear in there. We'll fling Diamond back towards him. We'll chomp oh! him. There's a flash over and the repeller. See, oh, it's going to be the Zest they're trying to dive onto. They do manage to dive. Flash and stun. And it's going to be Diamond coming in. First blood goes down. But Darian has been caught out. He may get caught, but Diamond coming into this top lane as well. They're going to focus around on towards Herculebot. He's going very low and they've got the health to go under the turret, which they will. And Kevin has to flash back away as well. Just respawn as we were talking about, but they've jumped onto Herculebot instead. Yeah, gonna get the knock up here as well from Jarvan and Herculebot. Not gonna escape what Darian is. To the lane, Darian's picking a fight, but it's not over yet as Kevin just gets dunked on.
Well, they thought it was top lane, losing a lot of HP, but it's not over. And raiding caught out by Diamond Prox, and there's going to be the Glitz of Lance. Hail of Arrows come. They've jumped on Peke. They've jumped straight in there. Have they got enough to take him down? Uses his ultimate, but he's going to be first blood. And who will it go to? He's going to use that ultimate. He's going to get the Catholicism come out there, but he can try and get away from it. He's still caught out by the wall, but they're running straight into Misfortune. And she is wrecking face right now. It's going to be Diamond Prox. He comes around, bounces across. So has to use those on his hourglass. He's going to get dropped down. It's not quite going to be picked up. It's Genja that takes the kill eventually. Can they chase the elastic slingshot onto Peke? Bounces him in the air. I go for lanes, uh, gank lanes, and to uh, carry the team. Scissoring him out from the chair. Oh, oh, he's oh, 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 there he is down! The shot comes down! Oh my gosh! He's down! Oh. The turret. I don't think he's going to get back in time. Diamond can just hit it. Twice One more shot. There it is. It is going to be Diamond Prox in the final. Caitlyn. Best Caitlyn. Best Sheriff in town. Looks like he's trying to hold on. Ellie decently plays the board to get in. We are going to see him coming down. Alex is trying to get in there. The flash going to be used, but the stun comes down. And Vision is in a lot of trouble. Can he get finished off here? Yes, he can. First blood early on. We are going to see the ultimate coming out here from Zoas and Diamond now going to get involved. He is level 8, so he can get in there with the ulti. And this is a dead shy. Objective the incredibly patient action of Lee Sin, and here it comes. Here we go. Shy going down for half HP. Look at Insect. He's been stripped to pieces with this one. Is he going to be able to escape? Oh, flash, but Diamond finishes off. Can they get 